Hi, Bobcat fans. We are here inside the halls of Hallsville ISD. This segment sponsored by Roof Masters and Bubba's 33 in Longview, Texas. Today, our special guest is Miss Tracy DeWoody. How are you today, Miss Tracy? I'm fantastic. How are you? I am doing well. Now, we are, tell us our actual title here at Hallsville High School. Okay. I am a health, I work for, in the CTE, Career and Technology Education Department. I'm a health science teacher. And you're the lead health science person, right? Yes, I am. But it's mainly because I've been here the longest. That's how I got that <laughs> title. Yeah. What, what all does health science encompass, Mr. Woody? All right. The courses that we teach in health science, they help prepare our students for um, life after high school to enter a career in health care, whether it be um, directly at the bedside or in a laboratory, um, everything from doctors to nurses to pharmacists to medical assistants and maybe um, medical records technicians. So. Lots of careers. And it's wonderful. And one of the things that I'll get into, because I want to talk about your career at Oswald, but what got you into this professional field? I don't mean the education, but the health science. How did you get into this, Mr. Woody? To be honest, that was um, an answer to prayer and a God thing. Okay. I, I started, when I came to the district, um, we were new from another area of the country, and I just started volunteering. And the lady who was in charge of the volunteers found out that I had a degree, and she said, you know, you need to do more than just volunteering as a nurse or whatever. You could teach a class. And I said, oh, I'm not a teacher. <laughs> well, one thing led to another, and there was a sweet lady um, who was going on maternity leave, and she asked me to long-term sub for her, and one thing led to another, and then I met Kathy Gaw, who's the um, director of CTE, and there couldn't be a better person to work for. So when she had an opening, she said, why don't you come interview for the position, and that's how it all went down. It's what, Now, second career, right? Yes, sir. What was the first career? I was an Air Force nurse for 21 years. Air Force, so how, how did we get into the Air Force nurse field? I mean, just straight out of high school decided we're going in the Air Force. How did we go that path? That was another God thing. I was at Syracuse University, which is a private university in upstate New York, and um, it's pretty expensive there. Right. And scholarship funds were going down and costs were going up. And uh, my father said to me, you better come home and go to a community college. And I said, no, you know, after you get a taste of that college life, <laughs> you know, at a D1 school, it's a lot of fun, lots of traditions. So I tr try to find a way and uh, Air Force offered scholarships. I applied and was accepted. So after doing a two year, um, my last two years at Syracuse, um, I had went on active duty. Awesome. Right out of college. Right out of college. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, and correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Woody, 13th year here in Hallsville, right? Yes, sir. What has been a Bobcat been like for you teaching here in Hallsville these 13 years? You know, um, when I first started, <laughs> both my kids were attending school here in Hallsville, so it was a great way for me to um, not only do something that I loved, which is to teach and to stay um, connected to health care, but it was also a way for me to keep my eyes on my kids. After they graduated, Abigail in 2015 and my son Ben, excuse me, Abigail in 2013 and Ben in 2015, um, I was just so ingrained with the Bobcat way of life. This is a, a just like I, a, a previous interviewee said before, this is a great place to live. It's a great community. And there's, um, I don't know, it's just infectious. It gets in your blood and you can't think of doing anything else. Has it got to where Hallsville feels like home yet? It is. This is the longest place that my husband and I, who was also active duty Air Force, this is the longest we've ever lived in one place. Wonderful. And mm -hmm. I, I, I'd get in trouble if I didn't ask this question. So mm -hmm. my partner, is, who's not here today, mm -hmm. he's out being, as he says, an alderman, but really an alderman. <laughs> he's going away right now. Mm -hmm. How did you meet Guy Walker and how do you know Guy Walker? Well, Guy Walker is certainly an ambassador for the Hallsville community. Oh, um, Lord. <laughs> we wouldn't make him spell that word, okay? right? Yes. <laughs> right? But um, I met Guy Walker uh, the second day that I was in the state of Texas. I had brought my son to a Little League football game, and his son Jacob was playing um, on the same team, and that's where I met Guy Walker. And, you know, Guy is a man who doesn't know a stranger, and um, he just made me feel real welcome. I know. He was so looking forward to this interview. He's going to be upset when he finds out yeah. that today was the day we had you. I, I, I know I've I, first time to actually meet you, but we've heard so much about you, a lot of just – awesome positive things Mr. Wood. So we are so glad to have you here especially here at the high school mm -hmm. working with our young men and women. So thank you for joining us oh, today. Fans at home that's been inside the halls of Hallsville ISD. A thank you to our sponsors Roof Masters and Bubba's 33 in Longview, Texas. Guys we'll see y'all next time.